Okay guys, I'm just going to show you how to do this really quick hairstyle. Um, you probably already saw on my previous video how I stretched my hair. Um, and all I'm doing, I, what I did is I just did a few chunky twists. And then I did these two small ones in the front because I knew that I was going to use them for this style. Just to neaten them up a little bit, I'm just undoing them and retwisting it's a little bit tighter and then here I have a bead this is a sterling silver bead I used to use these um, well I used to do beaded jewelry and there was a store that sold nothing but beads and I'm thinking well I could use these in my hair they're very expensive but if you just get in a few it's not that expensive so you might pay three dollars or something like that for one bead you know so if you want to get like six beads that's not too bad so I'm just stringing another one along and to me <clears throat> when you have like the the decorative jewelry type of beads it just sort of really elevates your hairstyle here we go <laughs> okay I've strung all my beads and now you can either leave it like this and it doesn't have to be perfect because you want to kind of have that exotic boho bohemian goddess kind of vibe so you can either stop here or you can take your twists or braids or whatever and just sort of wrap them around you know fix your hair how you want it just wrap them around and connect them in the back somehow and just take a bobby pin and pin them in place and then if you want to lay your edges you can do that I kind of prefer to just keep it natural and loose or whatever you know and let it do whatever it's gonna do um, the other option would be you have a, you can just play around with the front and kind of poof the front up you want it to be loose and fun and somehow just kind of pin it in pin it up and keep pinning until you can't pin no more. Like that. And then, so that your braids are not just doing one of these numbers, you just take a little pin. A, a smaller hair pin would probably work best, but you get the gist. And then bring your bead up a little bit more or add more beads for more exotical, right? But just to keep it from hanging around and doing all that other stuff. Fix it up how you like. And then boom. <clears throat> then at night, what you do is you just take your hair flip it up into a high bun you can do one or two that way you'll keep the length this can be done on any length hair alright if you got some hair that can be twisted you can go ahead and rock this style there's nothing worse than being in the middle of taping your video and the dog on the camera goes off or the battery runs out or you run out of memory Ugh, that's happened to me like twice already <laughs> Okay, so what I was trying to say, if you had a medium to short afro and you wanted to kind of rock this look, like I said, it's going to be different depending on the length of hair, but it's going to be gorgeous and exotical every time, honey. What you can do, if you want the longer twist in the front, you can still add some hair. Add either some yarn, you can braid or twist it, add some Senegalese, some Marley hair, whatever you want to do. Add that on in with your medium to short um, twist out and you can either have it hanging long so you would have all of this going on back here right and you would just have your braids hanging long and exotical with your beads going down girl or you could take the hair like this and then have your hair you know in your twist out and just wrap it around if you wanted to wrap it and depending on how long your twists are play around with them wrap it on back and then you might want to bring it back again so you have a headband here so you have like a double beaded look 
here and then with the headband or you would just tie it up in the back and have your twist out like just coming off the top and down the back and then had a braid hanging long. Hey, don't say I ain't tell you. All right, <laughs> until the next video, live simply and be kind. I appreciate you watching.